Okay, I am doing a little bit of an update to the, uh, you know, talking chat bot engine that I want to hook up to the MetaHumans Unreal uh, project. And uh, what I found on the internet is a interesting project that would animate a face, a little cartoon face, and uh, based off of what you typed in to uh, the program. So I modified it and put it into a class and with a thread uh, so that you can just send text to this class and it will it has a thread that will go through the animations and uh, play uh, basically I guess it's phonemes based off the 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 part of speech it'll display the particular animation let's see if I can pull this up so these are all the animated faces based off of the you know your the sounds that you're making and in this original project you would just type something and it would animate it so that's all in a class now. Let's get rid of all these. It's getting confusing. Uh, so I can load it into this code right here, which was the original chat bot code that reaches out to Google and does the translations and sends them back and things like that. So. I've got some earlier videos that kind of goes over this code, but this code is modified because we're pulling open the GUI, uh, the animated character, if you will. So this is a prototype, but it works pretty good. So we've got uh, the fun part of this project now is that we want to animate we want to synchronize animation with the what the Google uh, translation and wave playing is returning and again you'll have to watch the my previous videos to kind of wrap your mind around what's going on uh, the the brain of the chatbot is the uh, Python AML engine and that's what we're using uh, to come up with the text responses but instead you know this code instead of uh, sending a text response or sending text to the AML chatbot we are taking our voice sending it to Google getting it translated into text and then taking that text and sending it to the AML uh, bot which then outputs text and then we take that text that the chatbot outputted send it back to Google for the uh, text to uh, wave translation and then we play it back so this is kind of an interesting uh, you know project anyway uh, and I will I have no problem posting this code the fun part is going to be the you're going to have to do your own integration uh, with the Google Speech API. I have other videos that go into that, uh, so uh, and that's why I'm not down. I'm not you know GitHubbing this code just yet uh, because there's a bunch of integration uh, that you have to do, and uh, it you know people think they can download code and and this stuff will just magically start working but anyway this is the main driver uh, code which is uh, I took the Google speech API's and wrapped them in a class uh, we have the old PyVAD uh, that I use for the uh, voice detection and then the uh, couple of utils and then this GUI so 
uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to run this and we're going to talk to the chat bot like we would normally do. But now you're going to see an animated uh, 2D face. So let's do this. It's going to come up and run. There he is. Hello. Hi there. Okay, I don't see his face moving. Uh, oh, yeah. Look harder. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> let's try it again. It's still got some bugs. It could be based on how slow the Google API is today. Hello? Hi there. How are you doing? Not too bad. I'm doing pretty good today. How long have you been doing pretty good? Oh, for several years. How old are you? Not long. They didn't tell me their age. Are you a boy or a girl? Try to guess. Uh, you look like a boy. What does a boy look like? I have to go right now. Thanks for chatting. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, I think what happened is I clicked off onto another window. Uh, the other window and then that threw the uh, the threading off so but I'm pretty proud of myself and I appreciate the guy that posted the code uh, with the uh, chat bot face so the next step is to uh, take this code and integrate it into the um, Python project that we're using to move the uh, metahuman face around. I'm, I'm not going to pull that up. Uh, that's the uh, previous video. So what we're going to have to do is instead of uh, pulling this chatbot GUI up, uh, we might rewrite this chatbot GUI uh, to that would be the thing that is going to communicate with uh, Unreal and tell uh, the animation system what mouth gestures to make. So that's kind of the game plan right now is, and I'm, I'm kind of being lazy because uh, I pretty much know, I think I know how to do it. But I've got some other projects going on, and um, uh, this this project's getting ready to come to kind of an end uh, uh, for right now. But we're basically going to be rewriting this code and uh, taking these things apart and putting them into messages to send over to Unreal, and then we'll have to break these messages apart, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. The hard part's going to be uh, playing uh, like maybe micro animations or uh, playing uh, very simple curves over time uh, to animate the face of the, uh, the metahuman lady. So that's probably going to be the next step is taking this po code apart, sending the messages, and then figuring out how to translate that uh, over into uh, metahumans. So this project is just kind of a little play toy. Uh, I know that there's people that are animating the metahuman face with iPhones. And like I've said in my other videos, we don't want to do that. We 
we want to give uh, the chat bot a body of text uh, and have it recite the text and or uh, move around on the screen based off of uh, a uh, kind of like a scene language or and or scenario uh, move here say this uh, things like that so this is the next step I uh, appreciate this guy sending his code uh, don't know yeah I, I need to find find where I got this and give the guy credit because it's pretty slick so we're going to be ripping out the uh, the pie game stuff and just ripping out the code that that takes the text uh, that you send to it and translate it into I think these are phonemes or whatever you call it anyway and as you can see uh, I still have the session state uh, of uh, the conversations uh, but I haven't really done uh, much uh, with this yet so uh, this is another thing that we will eventually use so the bot will be able to look at the last session and uh, either carry on a conversation or uh, pretend like you know they know who you are and things like that so uh, take a look at some of the other videos I've got uh, this video is in that same theme uh, which is the uh, animating you know unreal uh, chat bot you know using the Google API's and when I get a chance try to figure out how to do the same thing uh, in uh, AWS and and uh, build a custom kind of a custom engine that uh, does a lot of this translation and stuff uh, in just a couple of calls as, as opposed to what we're doing with the uh, constantly calling the Google API's anyway this is a quick update and uh, thanks for watching if you've got this far uh, feel free to uh, let me know if this stuff is interesting or not um, you know I'm probably going to be getting involved with some uh, car racing uh, AI stuff and uh, maybe that'll get me a, some more views but I really want to try to finish up the MetaHuman chat bot and um, I, I think that's going to be you know, super cool anyway thanks a lot for watching and um, you know stay 